We have a homogeneous four foot wide, eight foot long rectangular gate weighing 800 pounds that's held in place by a cable. And you can see this cable is a horizontal cable. It's right here, it's this little line here. And this part right here is our gate. Okay, so think of a rectangle going back into the page and that represents our gate. Now the gate is gonna be hinged at A right here. Um, water is gonna act against the gate, so the water is trying to push the gate to the right. The cable is gonna prevent that. We're gonna ignore any friction in the hinge um, and we need to find the tension, not the tendon. Autocorrect here decided to make that tendon. It's tension. We're gonna find the tension in the cable. All right. First thing let's do is let's draw the free body diagram. And let's see what forces we need to come up with. All right, so let's draw a line representing our gate. There's our gate. We have a hinge at A, so we know from statics that a hinge has an X and a Y component of force. So we got AX and we got AY. Now we're also gonna have two other forces in addition to the cable. We're going to have weight of the gate, so let's just draw a W here, and then we're going to have our force due to the water. Let's draw that right here, so let's call that FH2O. And then finally we've got our tension in the cable, which is T. That's going to go away from the gate. All right. So we need to figure out how to place the weight in this force of the water to calculate tension. Because okay. notice on here I don't have the distances of where these forces are located. So let's go through and work this out. We'll put the distances in just a second. All right. Now let's look at the equation we're going to use. We are going to have our equation for the water. So FH2O, that is going to be gamma times H sub C times A. Now remember H sub C is a vertical distance. It's always vertical and it's going to be measured from the top of the water. All right. So remember that. Now let's fill this in and see what we get for this force. Gamma, we have gamma of water, that's 62.4 like it always is. Um, remember we're in the English units here. Now H sub C. H sub C in this case, remember is a vertical distance. We want to go down to the center of the gate that's underneath the water and we want to find that vertical distance. So let's change colors here. So let's say we want to go to this point. We're going to measure from the top of the water and we're going to go down to here. Okay. Now this is at a 60 degree angle and we want to be in the middle of the gate. So the gate is six feet long so this would be three and that would be three. So our H sub C here is going to be 3 sine 60, because remember, it's always vertical. Alright, so for H sub C, we're going to plug in here 3 sine 60. And remember, we just care about the part of the gate that's underneath the water, that is submerged. So there's that. Now we need our area. And again, our area is going to be the area of the gate that is submerged. So for our area in this calculation, we are going to have 4, because that's the width, times the length that is submerged, which is 6. So we have 4 times 6. Now if we multiply that together, we get that our force due to the water is 3,890.88 pounds. Okay. And that will be this force right here. So there's that force. Now in just a minute let's put up there where that's located. To do that we need our YCP equation. I'm sure everybody remembers this one. It is negative IXX times sine of the angle over H sub C times A. So let's fill that out. So we have a rectangle so our IXX we're going to have negative 1 over 12 times 4, which is the width, times the length that is submerged again. So we'll cube that. So we're going to have 6 cubed. And then we need sine theta. 
Theta is the angle from the horizontal, so in this case we have 60. We're going to put that over HC, which we already calculated up here. That was the 3 sine 60. And then multiply that by the area. So 4 times 6 again. So you do that, you end up getting negative 1. And this is feet, by the way. Now remember this negative sign right here, that's just telling you it is below the center. Okay, so we're going to go down three from the top of the water and then down one more foot. Okay, so that means that this length here from the, from the top of the water down to that force is going to be four feet. Okay, so we're at four feet there. And now that we're over here on this free body diagram, let's look at the weight. Now, the weight is going to act at the centroid of the gate. Now, the gate is 8 feet long, so we need that to be in the center of the gate. So this is going to be 4 feet from the top of the gate. Okay. So, actually, let's change this 4 feet on here. Let me redo this. Let's draw the, here's the top of the water now. Now let's put our four. So our four here for this force is right here. There. That's better. Now, the weight right here is going to be measured four feet. Okay? So now we've got that. All right. Now what we need to do is find our tension. Let's look back up at this diagram before we move on. Um, what we want to do is basically take a moment equation. So if we take a moment about this point A, we'll get rid of these two forces, AX and AY, because they'll go through that point. Um, and we know this FH2O, we found that. We know the weight that was given, that's 800 pounds, and tension will be the only unknown. So let's find that moment. Alright, so again we're going to take the moment about point A. Counterclockwise will be a positive moment. And we want to set that equal to zero because we want an in equilibrium. So if we look and we start with tension, the tension is a horizontal force, so we need a y distance. That's going to be a positive moment. Our y distance will be h sine 60. And then if we look at our weight right here, Again, we're going down to point A, so we need the distance between Y and A. Weight is a vertical force, so we need a horizontal distance. This is going to be a negative moment, so we're going to have negative 800. Our distance will be 4 cosine 60. And then finally, we have this force due to the water. Okay, That again is going to be a negative moment. So we have negative 3890.88, and our distance here is going to be this. So we already came down 4 from the surface of the water. We only have 6 feet of the gate under the water, so this distance is going to be 6 minus 2, or 6 minus 4, which is 2. Okay. So that leaves us with one equation and one unknown. So if you solve for that, you end up getting the tension is 1,354.14 pounds. Alright, so that's the tension you get in the cable when you're at a 60 degree angle and your gate is 6 feet under the water. That's what you get.